What's going on guys? It's Nick. I have Brandon and Thomas in the video today. We're doing another q and I did one of these with Nick a while ago, and it's a really liked video, so I figured I'd do it with them too. So I've got some random question generator thingy on my phone. So let's begin. We'll just all answer the questions. Um, describe yourself in one sentence, Thomas. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do that one. We should describe each other in one sentence. Yeah, let's do that. Describe each other in one sentence. Describe me and Brandon in one sentence. Both of you in one sentence? No, like me in one sentence and then him in one sentence. Um... I don't know. <laughs> this is too confusing. It's okay, we can cut all this out. Yeah, just, we'll, we'll cut out the part where Thomas doesn't know how to speak. Yeah. Okay, Brandon! <laughs> <laughs> describe yourself or me or Brandon or Thomas in one sentence. Let's see, so... Thomas here. I guess I'm gonna use a little bit of some, not language, but some, some innuendos. You might need to speak up a little bit. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let me think. So, when you think of a basketball pump, you gotta pump those balls really hard. All okay, right. uh, okay. Alright, alright. Thomas all right. is the best basketball pump I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Nick here, okay. Um, I'm curious. Uh, I can't think of one. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. That's probably a good thing. Uh, we'll, we'll do something about tennis, okay? Ah, so, yes. Um, you are a ball boy. See, he... Well, no, no, this doesn't have anything to do with tennis, because you can't pump up tennis balls, okay? But Thomas is your pump, alright, and you're the balls. No, <laughs> no, 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 oh, next question, balls. next question. <laughs> Would you rather be granted three wishes of your choice ten years from today, or one wish today. So three wishes ten years from now, or one wish right now. Can we use the wish for more wishes? No, that's not allowed. Okay. So three year, ten years, three wishes, or one wish right now. I'm gonna wait ten years. Yeah, I think I wait ten years too. I'd probably do to ten years. Cause I think in ten years I'm a lot smarter than I am right now. Yeah, cause yeah. you're like, I want like a, a a motorcycle, and then you're like, I don't even like motorcycles. Well, I mean, realistically, <laughs> I'll like. Well, oh know. man. <laughs> oh, Kira, I'm oh. worried about asking that question. <laughs> oh, scoop. <laughs> scoop. Okay, I'll ask it. Um, uh, PG 13. PG 13. Oh, okay. What do you do in your spare time, <laughs> Thomas? Uh, I guess uh, pump basketballs? It's close. <laughs> uh, I'll say. Mm, let's move on to Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Brandon, let's make it easy. Make it PG. Play, play on my computer. No. Alright, yeah, I see play on my computer, do YouTube, that's what I do. It's yeah. not like in my spare time, but whatever. <laughs> Are you doing anything fun this weekend? No. no. This is not fun. <laughs> you guys no. suck. No. This is not fun at all. Pretty boring. Uh, what is one of your... Alright, we'll skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> what is one of your worst habits, Thomas? Helping <laughs> 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 a basketball. Helping <laughs> a basketball. Uh, Brandon, how about you? <laughs> um... I'd say pumping two basketballs. <laughs> oh, pumping two basketballs. My, probably biting my nails. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be too. my worst habit. Yeah, yeah, biting yeah, my yeah, nails. Worse. How would you know if you were in love? Uh, hmm. I could... Never mind. I'm a, I'm a shush. I'm a shush on this one. Uh, Thomas? How would you know if you're in love? It's a very specific question. Can you um, look into my eyes? No, probably. <laughs> <laughs> <Feel it. laughs> um, I would guess you'd get like a, a tingly feeling, like like yeah. butterflies in your stomach. Butterflies, all right, okay, friend. I think you think about them every day. Think, okay, yeah, I, like, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just friends, just, just friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just uh, I think it, you know you're in love if you dream about them constantly and you stalk them and spy on them and take pictures of them it's all the time. Because that's what I do. Thomas, I do that with Thomas. <laughs> Uh, what food do you like to snack on? I like to snack on Skittles. Got a big jar of them right there. Of which these two eat handfuls of. Uh, I guess I'll go next. Um, I don't answer this for you. You like cookies. That's true. That true. <laughs> you like cookies. I can tell you that right now. I, I have gone through plenty of chips of white chewy packages in my lifetime. How about you, Thomas? What do you like to snack on? Uh, I like Cheez Its. Cheez Its are pretty good. Cheese or how would you describe your? Oh, how would your friends describe you? Okay, so you have now you physically have to describe Let's me. Let's do one word. Make it easy. One yeah, word. one word description of me and a one word description of Brandon. 
Okay, uh, you would be... <laughs> There's no one word for you. Okay, just do a sentence, then. Just do a okay. sentence. One sentence. You're someone who likes to do things... Outgoing. But... But... In a weird way. <laughs> like, like, it's... Okay. Like, you, you do it in a completely okay. different way than most people. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> like that. You know me so well. You know me so well, Thomas. Alright, and what about Brandon? Oh, I gotta get some meat. <laughs> Brandon's on the ground. He has a chair. That's a Photoshop chair that he's yeah, in right now. <laughs> so DX Racer. Um, no, he, has describe describe you. he has to describe oh. you. Now. Oh god. One sentence for Brandon. This is hard. <laughs> um, but Brandon. Movie magic. I can edit out this awkward silence. <laughs> yeah. I essentially don't know. Pasty. No, I'm just oh, kidding. Yeah. No, that's not good. I'm kidding. <laughs> And look at me. Oh! Wait, someone turn that light off. Oh. <laughs> he didn't even get the joke. Okay, um, I'll describe Thomas in one sentence. Great friend, loves basketballs. Mm. Loves pumping basketballs. Mm. Brandon, uh, great friend, mm. jumps like a black man. Uh, that's true, that's true. I have a, I have a birthmark I gotta show you all. Well, take right it there. there. <laughs> yeah, I'll Photoshop that and just color black right there so you can yeah. see where that is. It's just MSP. <laughs> black. <laughs> All right, so Brandon, me and Thomas in one All sentence right, each. So both of you get the same kind of general words. All right, okay. Great friend. This is Copycat. This is, yeah, I know. <laughs> Not original. So, Thomas is a uh, great friend that I wish I had kept in contact with. Because we did kind of lose contact in like eighth grade, oh, or not eighth grade, but it was like, you know, that time, generally. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you were still playing Xbox, I was playing PC. Um, yeah. And then Nick, uh, I think kind of the same thing, but like, we kind of rekindled our fire a lot earlier. Aww, I'm <laughs> touched. I'm touched. I feel so loved. <laughs> Where is, your, what is your favorite hangout spot? Honestly, my house. Yeah, my room. Same. <laughs> I don't like going places. My house or the gym. One of those. What did you do on your most recent birthday? Well, I had Brandon. I had Brandon, Andrew, Nick. Chris. Chris, yeah. <laughs> and Dominic. And Dominic. He didn't stay the night, though. But all five of those people were over, and then everyone but Dominic stayed the night uh, at my house. And it was great. We stayed up really late and had wonderful conversations about things. <laughs> uh, Thomas, what did you do on your most recent birthday? Nothing. I ate cake and then I... Um, pumping those basketballs? Yeah, pumping those basketballs. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's an everyday grind. <laughs> <laughs> the daily grind with Thomas. What about you, Brandon? Um, you, were, you were there. Yeah. And the crew was there. And... Kenny was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kenny was there. Yeah, so yeah. We all uh, wait, actually, no... She wasn't there at first, but then she was like, Mom, I'm going, and then she came. She wasn't there at first. I don't even remember it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so long ago. Uh, but we went out to eat at the Peppers restaurant, or whatever. The old Peppers restaurant. Yeah, the Mikasa. The, mm -hmm. the, now it's called, um, not Mikasa, but the... There's once Peppers, now it's something... Some, some other thing, whatever it is now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. What are you most thankful for this year? That's deep. Probably, like, on a deep level. My, my The friends and family that I have that are here for me, mm -hmm. that I can fall back on, you know? Because, yeah. That's probably what I do. That's, that's like a stereotypical, oh, friends and family. But, like, mine's legit. Like, friends and family, who, who are, you can be there for you when, when you need someone to be there for you, honestly. Mm -hmm. What about you, Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> he always goes with me second. Okay, okay. What about, what about you, Brennan, since Thomas is a little yeah. slow? Probably my parents as well. Parents. Money. <laughs> Money. Had a lot like, of that like the fact that you make it, or just... Well, the fact that I won the $300. Oh, yeah! He won a $300 raffle thing at school, and the, mm -hmm. the guy that was there, you had to be there to win, and his name was called, and he wasn't there, and then they pulled a second name, and it was Brandon, so he won 300 bucks at school, which was pretty, pretty yeah. dank. I need to... <laughs> <laughs> I need to I need to edit in the glasses and the the, the uh, MLG air horn and the little joint. Uh, <laughs> or, um. Yes, right on you. <laughs> All right, Thomas, you've had time to think. What about you? Okay. Um, I gotta say, 
I'm thank. What what is the question again? What are you most thankful for this year? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Moving on. <laughs> what is the longest that you stayed awake for? Tw I don't know. Actually, so. Over 24 hours. I'd say probably 36 hours, because Chris Cook was over with me, and we pulled in all night. The only one I've ever done in my life, and we stayed up from 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock the net, like, so 6 to 6 in the morning, so 6 in the morning, 6 in the morning, that's 24 hours, plus another 12 hours, 6 at night, and then we crashed, because <laughs> I was exhausted. So 36 hours. I gotta say about 40 hours. I don't doubt that. You stay up late. I can see that. <laughs> I want to do a 24-hour stream, but that's when I moved out in my own house and my parents can actually get sleep and not go crazy. <laughs> well, I was a my office is directly above their room. I was on like a Netflix watching Like a binge screen. watch. Binge, binge watch, watch Netflix. Everything. And then it was the next morning and I had to do shit. <laughs> so I was like, I don't got time for sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta do stuff. Uh, what about you, Ben? One time, I had an older friend who's now gone. He moved away from the right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Passed away a few years I went over to his house, and this was when I was, like, probably 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to play Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah. Um, we basically stayed up all day, all night, and all the way to the next day, which is probably, like, 48, 30, 36, 48 hours? Something like that. Probably, yeah. Golly. We only had to leave because my parents... Uh, <laughs> like, you need like, to do something. You need to get out. <laughs> you need to leave. Oh, this is a tough one because I'm both of these. Would you rather be blind or deaf? <laughs> I was blindness or deafness? I would rather see than not hear. Yeah. So you'd rather be deaf? See. Yes, I'd rather I, be I deaf. Yeah, I think I'd rather be deaf. I mean, you would... It'd be weird talking because you can't hear yourself and deaf people talk strangely. I, but I would they rather. Sign language. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to learn a new language, but I'd rather be able to see. Well, also, there's like there's like better treatments for deaf. Yeah, like you can get hearing aids because you could get hearing aids and stuff like that because you can't get glasses that make you. Not I mean, blind. there are. It's just that like the most that they can do is make you see black and white. Yeah, like you can't like see what I see right now. Yeah. So, be very interesting. Would you rather not be able to use your hands or not be able to walk? That's a tough one. Oh my gosh! Well, Tom sorry has his answer. Uh, <laughs> Thomas would rather not be able to walk. He's got a pump with basketball. Uh, I think I would rather. I think I'd rather not be able to use my hands. I think so too. Because like I'd still be able to do everything, just I'd have little stubs. <laughs> like I could still give people hugs and like. Just like prosthetics. I could go like this. Like I could, like, you know, like I could numb you. Yeah, yeah. a prosthetic. You can't. I mean, you could get a prosthetic for and your legs. they don't legs, describe right? how you can't walk. Like, they didn't yeah. say, oh, your legs are removed. Just are you just, like, paralyzed? Yeah, or paralyzed. So what is your biggest concern about the future, Brandon? Um, picking a career mm -hmm. that I don't want to do in the long run. Yeah, like, picking a career you'll regret. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm making money, but I hate it. Mm -hmm. Like, YouTube, for me, if, I'm, if YouTube takes off for me and I make a lot of money, this is what I want to do. This is what I'll do when I'm... In the future, yeah, it's the dream job. It, really, I just I do this, okay? I, I do this every day in my life mm -hmm. until I decide, you know, and I'm done. <laughs> but I think my biggest <laughs> my biggest concern about the future is I don't know I don't know probably finding the right person, like because you don't want to date some like freaking. Some some kid, you know, <laughs> just some random girl you pick up on the side of the road, or guy if you're a female, or if you're gay, you know, no judging, because you know Thomas and I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, what about you? What's your biggest concern about the future? Um, I would have to say just like people in general around me. Yeah, like meeting new people. Yeah, new people. The, the groups. With having them. to move new places. Oh, yeah, yeah moving, and moving and jobs, yeah. That would suck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll answer this one first. What are three websites you visit every day? Three? Yes, three websites. Oh, God. Uh, YouTube, Google, mm -hmm. and... I don't know. Uh, probably Twitter. Yeah, YouTube, Google, and Twitter, I'd say. Brandon, we'll skip Thomas uh, okay, right okay, now. Okay, okay, we'll, okay. Go to, we'll go to Brandon here. Uh, let's 
let's see, probably YouTube as well. Yeah. I go on YouTube a lot. Um, the Steam count. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Steam. Steam count. powered. <laughs> uh, and then, man, this is a tough one. I'm really good shopping. I go on PC Park Picker a lot. Oh yeah, PC Park Picker. I do that too. Thomas, what about you? Um. <laughs> Like, I have the app for YouTube. Does that have? Yeah, yeah. YouTube, okay, YouTube. I go on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I go on Facebook. Okay. okay. And then, um... <laughs> Come on, you're so close! Netflix. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there, there we go. go. I had the <gasps> same thing. We made it through that one. Alright. <laughs> what are six websites you visit? <laughs> <laughs> what are 18 websites you visit? Uh, what did you do last weekend? Let's see. Last weekend, I had Nick Cook over to hang out with me. Because... Yeah. Thomas? <laughs> Thomas, what about you? What did you do last weekend? Oh, we went to the gym. Oh, yeah, we went to the gym. That's right. We found him. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> we got friends. No one likes him. Take the pasty kid in the gym. Right now, we all look pretty pasty. Yeah, yeah so no kidding. Because <laughs> the screen. Look. Trying to adjust your knee pillows. Thomas? I just said. Oh, the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big red. Um, I think it's like an air. Sat at home and cried because you didn't go to the gym. I agree. <laughs> Alright. What? Nope, just keeping that because it's dumb. What would you do if you couldn't use the internet or watch TV for a month? Uh, for a month? Yeah. This is a bad question, too. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be hard for me because I couldn't post anything on my channel for a month. I don't really watch TV to begin with, really, unless I'm like, I have nothing to do. But I couldn't contact my friends, couldn't Skype people, couldn't post on YouTube, I couldn't really do what I do. I mean, like, I have this to just... For a whole month? Like, yeah, is just there a an, specific an, month? An entire, just 31 well, then, days. 31 days. I think I'd be okay with it just because, like, school? Up half my yeah, day. yeah. I could do homework for the rest and get my grades up. Just sleep, go outside, do some stuff. Yeah, yeah. actually be healthy. <laughs> actually do something. Go to the gym. Life. Go to the gym every day and then exactly. pass out when you get home because your muscles are gone. <laughs> what about you, Thomas? What would you do if you couldn't use the internet or watch TV for a month? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll move on. Uh, yeah. What was the last gift that you received? Last gift? Like um, someone gave it to you? That's what oh. received means, Thomas. Alright, well, definition of received on the screen now. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last gift that you received from somebody? This is hard. It's really not. You just think of what someone last gave you. He gave me that lemon cake at lunch. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> lemon cake at lunch. <laughs> Brandon? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Does like. Someone saying thank you, Carol? No. A physical <laughs> a physical object that they gave you. I'm uh, trying to think, what was mine? Yeah, this is a hard one. I, I mean, you don't really realize it every day. I think... Oh, someone gave me a piece of paper. That, was, that counts. That was, that was today, actually. I think my last real gift was something that my ex gave me. I don't remember what it was. It was probably something of that nature. Probably a picture or something like that. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you own that fit me too? That I own in personally? That makes sense. Uh, probably like eight, seven or eight. I I yeah. burn my shoes after I'm done. So. <laughs> <laughs> like James, James just burns his J's. I do have like five <laughs> pairs though. Yeah. So. Like I only have really, I have three pairs that fit me. My my Nikes and my two Sperry's, and then I have a bunch of Vans that don't fit me anymore. What about you, Thomas? Um, freaking one. <laughs> I got one for school, and then one for like just doing random stuff. Mm. Um, that like fit, like yeah, like shoes not. that fit. Um, I got some dress shoes. Okay. Oh yeah, dress shoes. Dress shoes. Oh, so then I have more. four pairs. <laughs> <laughs> so about four pairs of shoes. Yeah. All right. How did you get your? How did you get your name? Do you know the meaning? Okay, I got my name because that's what my parents said. You know what? Let's call this thing Nick. So <laughs> that's where I got my name. And let's see here. Let's go look up what my name means. What does my name mean? The meaning of names. Nick. Search. Um, apparently, my name means victory of the people. Okay. Brandon. Uh, from the broom hill. Oh. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, yeah. And then Thomas. Oh, a twin. Oh. A twin. What are you not telling me? Uh, <laughs> I got a brother. Uh, you and your brother do look very, very similar. What's your brother's name? Justin? Justin. 
I see what his means. A twin. Just, just or fair. Uh, get it, just? Just, uh, he's I'm just in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty interesting question there. What is your least favorite chore? Oh man, um... That can't work. Like, just... Nah, that's a job. That's not really a chore. Like, a, a thing you do in the house, like... Like the dishes or something like that. Um, Mine would probably have to be... I don't really have a least favorite. I mean, I'm not like super psyched to do them. Like, oh, I can't wait to do my chores today. But yeah, no. I mean, I'm not like, oh, uh, probably cleaning my bathroom. I think cleaning my windows. Oh, I hate that. Right before the hurricane, because we live in an area that was hit by the hurricane, I had to clean every window, right? Mm. And then the <laughs> hurricane hit, so we we duct tape our windows to prevent shattering. And there's crap all over the windows now from the glue. <laughs> And the duct oh, tape was like, no. I just cleaned those things. Um, I gotta say mowing lawn, because I have really, really oh, crappy lawn <laughs> I know what I'm getting cheap. you for Christmas. Do you shower in the morning or the evening? I do in the morning, because I gotta get my hair going, you know? I do in the evening. Same. Mm -hmm. I do in Well, you guys don't sometimes, do anything with your hair. really late at night. You guys don't do anything, like, if I showered in at night, and I woke up, my hair would look god-awful for school. I mean, I don't really care, I but... I don't even have any right <laughs> Okay, do you have any pets? I have a dog and two cats. I used to have a guinea pig, it passed away, I used to have a cat, and she died. Hmm. Yeah. Wanna go? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Alright, uh, I got a cat. I have a rabbit. Oh yeah, I um, forgot about that. I have two fish. <laughs> Pretty cool. I don't really care about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care about the fish. Screw the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Thomas? Um, I got two dogs, and they're both really annoying, but my <laughs> dogs. What's in your fridge? That's a long answer. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Would you rather age from the neck up or only the neck down? I, I'd probably say the... What starting age That's hard. Start? What starting age do you start? I don't know. Like, I guess you just stay the baby and then you only grow. Like, I'd have this face, but the body of a one year, like a newborn. Uh, I don't know. I don't or I'd have the body of me and then the, the head of a baby. Or it's... Wait, does or it doesn't mean, like, get old, like, wrinkly. What if, like, okay, let's do the starting age is 15. Just okay. 15 years old. Okay. I'd probably do the neck up then. Or like 16 or 17, whatever. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not like super huge, but I'm not like tiny. Well, yeah. then you'd never. Girl. You'd never really die. I mean, your brain would. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a weird question. We'll just we'll go on. <laughs> Alright, we'll do a couple more. Which is one thing that you would like to become better at? Running. Because um, I'm doing tracks, so I'm going to run a lot better. You can go to some free runs. Um, get better at, like, get better at, <sighs> lifting weights. Yeah, being not freaking this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being yes. not this, okay? <laughs> being better at not this. I think, I think generally I agree with that as well. Like Just getting more stronger, healthy yeah, healthier. Yeah. Or gotcha. tanning. Yeah. yeah some of that. What you do on your birthday. What is what is one thing you like to change about the world? Aww, oh. world peace. No. <laughs> um, probably the racism. Hmm. Racism is bad. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. I, but, I mean, that, they I thought that. racism was a good thing, but now Brandon cleared that up for me. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, you, Thomas? I'll say, like changing the world. Yeah, like just what, anything. What? The yeah. world doesn't know. Pollution. 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 Because you know one day pollution is going to be... Alex is anymore. a stoop. I think going off of that, I want to change the limited resources. Oh, make yeah. Like, oh, make so, them like, renewable. Uh, an endless supply of like, gas. Or <laughs> if you could choose any era to live in, what would it be? Like the dinosaurs or the cavemen, yeah, the currently the future. Yeah, whatever you the want. The future. Well, in the future. But you don't know what the future's gonna be like. It could be like horrible. I mean, yeah, you know, well, then right now. <sighs> That's easy. I don't right want to live in anymore. I mean, okay. If we're being like unrealistic, I'd probably want to live in the dinosaur age. Yeah. This that'd, is that'd what be, it's like. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, last question after Thomas answers it. I'd probably say like around the dinosaurs because I just want to see them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. cool. Just to see the dinosaurosis. I'm not gonna oh. say that one. <laughs> Here's my social security number for you. 
What would you want your last words to be? Ironically, it's the end of the video. What would you want your last words to be, Thomas? Don't mourn me. Like, don't mourn over me. Don't be sad about my dad. Okay, okay. Brandon? I, I kind of want to die with a joke. <laughs> so, like, something I'm going to go throughout my whole life and be like, wow, what's the funniest joke I've ever heard? Something like, I hit the million dollars in I was about to say that. Oh. I was about to be like, I hit the billion here and just died. Yeah. Um, I think, because I want to copy you, but I think probably, you know, it depends who I'm with. Like, if I'm with my family, obviously tell them I love them. Mm -hmm. But if I'm with, like, if no one's there, then I'd just be like, well, screw all of you! <laughs> Bye-bye! Yeah, like in a hostage situation. Yeah. Like, you're like, what am I supposed to say? Do it again. Do it again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you so much for watching I will see all of you in the next one thank you for you two for joining me in this video great help to you guys always interesting to have friends so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one bye guys bye guys bye guys bye bye okay we're gonna end it this way then